What's going on, everybody? Check out what happened to my BK3 the other day when I was practicing my 10 ball breaks. That's right. After about seven years and well over a thousand breaks, the phenolic tip that came with my BK3 finally broke off. And I mean, it broke clean off too. Because check out this picture that I took. I could not notice any glue residue on the tip or even on the tip plate. I mean, heck, you can even see my expression in the video, which there was none because I was in complete shock when I saw the tip fly off during the break when I don't even break all that hard. But nonetheless, it's time for a new break tip on my BK3. And with my recently acquired sponsorship of Town Billiards, I want to go ahead and try out their 2.0 jump break tips. These tips come in assorted colors. And as I understand it, the colors don't represent anything in regards to their performance. They're all supposed to play the same. Now, I actually have the white colored tip. So here is a side by side comparison of the tip that I'm going to be putting on next to my old one. You can see the new tip is going to be a little bit thicker, so it only makes me wonder if it's going to have more of a padded hit. But let's put this bad boy on the lathe and get the new tip on. All right, there really shouldn't be a whole lot that I have to do here, considering the old tip broke clean off. I am going to start by roughing up the tip plate so the glue can have more of a rougher surface to stick to. So I'm just going to take 120 grit sandpaper, just gently tap onto the site plate. Then I'm even going to take a razor blade and lightly score some lines to give the glue areas to stick into. And that's all I'm going to do there. Here is the 2.0 jump brake tip that I'm going to apply. Let's go ahead and sand the gluing in so it also has a rough surface for the glue to stick to. And I've been advised to use this rapid fuse glue as opposed to Loctite super glue. I'm always open to suggestions if there are better glues that I can use. I'm just going to apply the glue here, the tip plate. And then using my centering tool here, just apply the tip. Now, normally this only takes a few seconds for the glue to cure, but I'm actually gonna let it sit for a good minute or two. Okay, the glue should be nice and dry by now, so let's go ahead and start cutting the tip down to the size of the ferrule.
And then finally, let's go ahead and shape the tip to be a little bit more rounded and scuff it up for the chalk. I'll just use the same 120 grit sandpaper to rough up the tip. And that should do it. Let's see how well this tip breaks. Okay, I'm not gonna be trying anything special with these breaks. I just wanna see how the tip feels and performs. So I'll do a few breaks, and since this is a jump break tip, I'll even try a jump shot. Nice little pop on that one. Didn't really make a ball, but that's not my concern. This actually felt really good considering I got the cue ball to pop like that. Let's try another one. All right, on this break here, I'm just going to use a regular shooting stroke. So got the cue ball to squat near the center of the table. We at least made a ball on that break. Nice little control that I have there. Let's do one more break. All right, I'll see if I can actually put some good power into this one. Might end up losing control of the cue ball. Really lost control of the cue ball there. But man, that actually felt that actually felt really good. Come here. Okay. Yeah. I don't really have any complaints um, about this tip. This actually feels a little bit better than the phenolic tip that it came with. But let's see if I can actually jump a ball with this. Full cue, no less. Oh boy, I cannot begin to describe how good that actually felt. So yeah, I think I'm really going to enjoy this new tip on my uh, BK3. Now, is this something I'm going to put on my BK Rush? Well, I'd have to say, not at the moment. There's nothing wrong with my BK Rush. You know, since I accidentally broke the tip off of this one, this was the perfect opportunity to give this a try. So if you think you might be in the market for a new brake tip and you've never tried the Talm 2.0 jump brake tips, then I hope the demonstration that I was able to do for y'all here today might make it worth giving it a try. So if you like what you saw here, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and then be sure to click the bell notification icon to be notified whenever I go live or publish a new video. Take care, everybody.